Today, we will be learning about shapes. So put on your thinking cap and let's get ready to learn. This is a circle. A circle has a round edge. It has no corners and no sides. This circle is just like a paper plate. This paper plate has no corners, it has no sides, and it has a round edge. So here we have our circle. This is a square. A square has one, two, three, four corners, and one, two, three, four sides. All sides of the square are the same length. That's how we know it's a square. Just like this book. This book has one, two, three, four sides and one, two, three, four corners. All sides of the book are the same equal length. And therefore, this is a square. Our next shape is a triangle. A triangle has one, two, three corners and one, two, three sides. A triangle can have different lengths of the side or it can have the same lengths of the sides, just as long as it has three of them. Just like this triangle, if you've ever seen a sailboat, kind of like this one, the sail on the sailboat is a triangle. Just like this, a triangle. Our next shape is a rectangle. A rectangle has one, two, three, four corners and one, two, three, four sides. This side and this side are the same. And this side and this side are also the same, but they're different from the sides. Our rectangle, four sides, but these two sides are different from these two sides. And just like this rectangle, we have an envelope. An envelope is a rectangle. It has one, two, three, four sides and one, two, three, four corners. These two sides are the same and these two sides are the same, but they are different from each other. So these two sides are different from these two sides and therefore it's a rectangle. Our last shape is a hexagon. A hexagon has six sides. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six. And how many corners does it have? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. A hexagon has six corners and six sides. All right, friends, it's time to review what we learned today, all about our shapes. This is our circle. And the circle, remember, has no corners and no sides. It's round all the way around, just like this plate. Our next shape that we talked about is a square. A square has one, two, three, four equal sides and one, two, three, four corners, just like this book. Four equal sides and four corners makes a square. Our next shape that we talked about is a triangle. And a triangle has one, two, three sides and one, two, three corners. And remember, 
a triangle can have different length sides or it can have the same length of sides. Just like the sailboat, the sail on the sailboat is a triangle. The next shape that we talked about was a rectangle. A rectangle has two sides that match each other and have the same equal length and another two sides that are different from these two, but these two sides also match each other. They have the same equal length, just like this envelope, our rectangle. And our last shape that we talked about was a hexagon, which has one, two, three, four, five, six sides and one, two, three, four, five, six corners. All right, friends, are you ready for a challenge? Let's see if you can remember what shapes we learned today. So here's our first one, a paper plate. Let's see if we can remember what shape this is. It has no corners and no sides, and all the edges are round. Hmm. Did you say circle? If you guess circle, you are right. Great job. Now for our next one, the book. Do you remember what shape this is? It has one, two, three, four equal sides. Hmm, four equal sides. A square. A square has four equal sides, just like this book. If you guess square, great job. Our next shape, the sailboat. Do you remember what shape this is on the sail of the sailboat? Hmm, it has three corners and three sides. What shape has three corners and three sides? Hmm. If you guess triangle, you're right. Great job. How about this shape? Do you remember what shape this is? It has two sides that match each other and two different sides that match each other. For one, two, three, four sides in all, in total. Or one, two, three, four corners. Hmm. Do you remember what shape this is? If you guessed rectangle, you're right. Great job. Great job. Excellent job with your shapes. Lulu and I are so proud of you and all your hard work with learning your shapes. I hope that you enjoyed our time together as me and Lulu did too. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time on First Words Flamingo. Bye friends.